Hey, what's going on everybody? Big J Glees here, and I hope you had a Merry Christmas. And we're gonna get into the last installment of this Vikings ebook. And with this video, we're gonna focus on the one tight end, two backs, two wide receivers personnel, basically your I form stuff. And the first thing we're gonna take a look at is the strong close. And with the strong close, there's something that I wanna go over real quick that you can do from basically any play and it's very effective and it's something that I've been doing personally since Madden 04 and that's creating my own screens and you can see right here I'm going to have my tight end and my fullback go out to the right and B is on some type of pattern that drives down the field whether it's a corner ball or a vertical or a deep out or a deep in it doesn't really matter as long as his first couple steps are upfield and that's going to drive the coverage back, and then we're gonna be able to throw it to our fullback with our tight end out in front of them. And you can see here, we basically make a homemade screen, and our fullback is pretty slow. Now, if we were to sub someone in that was a little bit faster, our timing would be a little bit different, so you always have to base your timing on the throw based off of how fast your running back is or fullback, and how fast your tight end is. Now, in that situation, you're gonna to have to practice it. So you have to be aware and understand when to throw the ball, but having someone back there that's faster is actually going to be more advantageous. And we're gonna take a look at this one more time. And this works best against zone. It also can work against cover two, and I'll show you what that looks like right here. So as you can see, we are in a cover two zone. We're just going to put our tight end on a flat and our fullback on a wheel. And we're able to pick up that block and we're able to gain some yards here. Now this is a concept that has gained in popularity since last year. But again, like I said, this is something that Jay Woody and I actually, we were running the five wide receiver bunch out of the Jacksonville book in Madden 05 and also the run and gun out of Madden 04 and we used to do this stuff all the time it was one of our staples of our offense and I feel like it's kind of crazy that this stuff just kind of became popular last year they actually tried to get a lot of it out of the game with taking away playmakering on screen plays so now you can't change the wide receiver's routes, and that's basically the reason why is because so many people are making their own screens in the game. But we're still able to do that from this formation based off of alignment. So next we're gonna look at what plays to come out of the huddle in, and we're also gonna look at some of the plays in the stick that are gonna be advantageous and allow us to be successful against any defense that our opponent has for us. So when I'm running the I-form sets, the play that I like to come out in when I really wanna run the ball is the toss out of the strong close. So we're gonna pick that coming out of the huddle. All right, so the reason why I like to come out in the toss is because it's something that I can quick hike. So I can quick hike the toss, or in my stick down, we have the zone to the opposite side. So if someone is heavily playing the toss to the right, then I know that I can just quickly stick down and use the run to the left. So that allows me to attack anywhere on the field, depending on what my defense I'm playing against is doing. So if, you know, again, like I said, if they're playing the toss, then we just go with the inside zone to the back side. Now you do have other runs that are available to you. And one of the runs that I like the most is the halfback dive out of the twins. So sometimes I will audible to this and go to the inside run out of the twins and this usually works best against sets like this so against three four with uh, your defensive line not pinched down this is going to be a pretty good run option another run that i do happen to like is in the i form normal and it's the inside zone all right so we have all of these runs at our disposal so we have a toss to the right we have a zone to the left we have an iso right up the middle and an inside zone to the right out of all of these sets. Now the pass plays in these sets are eh, not very good. They're not amazing. But we are gonna look at some of the pass plays that are going to be the most effective for you. And we're gonna go back into the tight, or the close, I should say. Now one of my favorite pass plays comes from the strong close, and it's the stick up, and it's a play called mesh. And we have a flat corner combo to the right side of the field, and we have double drags going across the field and this is what a mesh is you basically have two drags going across the field 
Now, what this is going to allow us to do is burn man coverage as well as zone. And it doesn't matter the zone, whether it's cover two or it's cover three or cover four. And on the right side of the field, so the A and RB pattern together over on the right side of the field, that's going to be able to burn cover three and cover two relatively easily. And we do that with a flat corner combo. Basically, we have to make the sideline defender guard one of those patterns. We just have to make the read. If the guy stays low, then we're gonna throw it to Gresham. If the guy goes back, we're gonna throw it to Leach. Against man coverage, both drags will get open. We can also throw both of those drags in between any zone in the game, as long as we make the proper read. It works really good against zone coverage where people are blitzing and they're vacating areas because both of these patterns will cross every single spot on the field eventually. So if we throw into the blitz, we will be able to make a big gain against a defense that is sending players at the quarterback. So let's take a look at this play against a cover three defense. So as you see against the cover three, we are able to hit the drag coming from the left side of the field over to the right. The flat fullback, the fullback that's going to the flat is pulling that zone out to the outside and it's creating a hole in the defense in that area. We are also able to hit the corner ball as the flat fullback pulls the flat defender to the outside and the deep zone stays too deep. The same can also be said for cover four. It will work the same way as long as we make the proper read. We can throw it to the fullback if the sideline defender goes deep for the corner ball. If he comes up, again, we're just going to throw the corner ball. We're going to take this to the right hash. Now running this to the right side of the field from the right hash does make the throw windows a little bit tighter, but they do develop a little bit quicker to the right side of the field. And being able to develop quicker makes it easier for us to be blitzes. So running this from the right hash is good against blitz happy players. And we throw that by using the L trigger and throwing it down into the outside. We'll take a look at that one more time. Now one way to ensure that we're able to throw the fullback route is to put B on a vertical. And this will drive the flat zone way back and we're able to throw it to Leach underneath. This is great for getting first downs and gaining three to four yards whenever it's needed. So we're going to take a look at this against man coverage and show you how both drags get open against this coverage. When playing against big sets like 3-4, 4-3, 4-6, any type of man defense in those sets, the tight end will also get open. Against the cover two, we are able to throw the corner ball over top as the flat wide receiver or the fullback keeps the zone down. And we're gonna take a look at that one more time. So the next play that we're gonna take a look at is the double outs play. And if we're on the left hash, we're going to leave B on their pattern. Also, we're going to leave A on his pattern. We're going to put Floyd, the X receiver, on a drag. And this is going to allow us to really stretch the defense horizontally and vertically. We're going to create a high-low situation in the middle of the field. And on the right side of the field, we're going to stretch them out horizontally. And the way we're going to do that is by motioning B over this way. And any flat defender from the inside will not be able to cover that receiver. We'll take a look at that again as we motion the receiver out. We are able to make that throw every single time. So we're going to run this from the right hash this time. And we're just going to put B on a drag. And Thomas Davis, you can see right here, he is assigned to the flat. And he is one of the best at getting out there 
and playing coverage. He's also very fast. Now, when we run this, you're going to see that even Thomas Davis has a very difficult time covering the X receiver from this position on the field. The only way to really guard this in zone effectively is to run a cover two defense or to have a DB in that spot. So you need to run like a nickel, a dollar, something like that. So keep in mind when I run this that Thomas Davis is basically the best at covering this from an inside position. And you can see that it still does get open. It is a little bit tighter, but the thing to remember is if you're running this against other linebackers in the game, it's going to be so open, so open. They're not going to be able to get out there. Again, keep in mind that Thomas Davis is the best at covering this, and he still doesn't get in position. And the way that we throw that is to just hold left and bullet pass it. Now, because that out goes outside like that, we also have the drag pattern that does come in that little gap there. So we are able to get a five yard gain in that position against zone, even when they're not blitzing. We also have Gresham over top. So if we're able to read that the zone defense does come down for the drag, we can throw over top to Gresham. Against man, the drag, the out on the left, and the tight end all get open if we throw it at the right time. Against a cover two zone, most times, unless they're blitzing, the only route that we're actually going to have is the drag. And that's okay, because if someone's playing a whole lot of cover two defense, we're gonna be able to hit them with the mesh play rather consistently, just like we just went over. So if you see someone is adjusting by running cover two defense, just switch to the mesh. So that's it for this Minnesota Vikings Mutt Style eBook. Now I encourage you to dive into other formations and find some other plays that are usable. And there are other usable plays in this book. For instance, boom, right here, we're in the full house and our running back is on a nice V pattern. We got some flats, we got some curls. This is a really good play to run when down in the end zone. You can also put your fullbacks slash tight ends, whatever you want to call them on verticals. And this also opens some things up. So I invite you to get creative with it. You can use the concepts that I've covered in this ebook to implement into other formations. Also, be aware of the formation that you're in and the stick audibles that are in that formation, and that will dictate what play you should probably come out in. The biggest thing when using tips and utilizing an ebook is to develop your own style. So, implement the things that I've created and I've put out for you and revamp it and kind of make it your own. Understand what plays you feel comfortable calling in different situations, and you will absolutely be successful using the Minnesota Vikings playbook. So that's it. Again, I want to thank you for checking in. I really appreciate all the support. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's Big J Glee signing out and continue to game strong.